Namaste. My name is Nana from Oneness Yoga Studio in Westville, Durban. Today I would like to share with you a short yoga flow to counter the effects of long hours of sitting. So when we sit for long hours, the shoulders start to round forward, the hip flexors become tight, and the hamstrings become tight as well, all of which can contribute to lower back pain. So let's do yoga to help us stretch those tightened areas and strengthen those that can help us create more stability in our hips and in our spine. So coming up to hands and knees on the floor, you might need to use a foam or a folded blanket to help you support the knees. So if you have sensitive knees, welcome to have those nearby. Wrist under the shoulders, knees hip width apart. Let's begin by swaying the hips from side to side. Just taking a moment to check in with your body, the sides of your hips. And then bring the hips back up to center. Cat cow pose. Inhale, lifting the chest, lift the tailbone. Draw the shoulder blades in and down toward your hips, tailbone lifts. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, draw the belly in, push down into the floor and dome up your spine. Inhale, concave back, contracting the back muscles, broaden the chest to the front. Exhale, round back, draw the belly in, cat pose. Inhale, concave back, cow pose. Exhale, rounding to cat. Inhale, back to neutral tabletop position. Now, if you would like to cushion your left knee, you're welcome to have something underneath the left knee. So if you find that your knee is sensitive on the mat, you can have something as a padding. Step the right leg to the front. Inhale, lift your arms up to the ceiling, Anjaniyasana. Reaching up tall through your fingertips, lengthen the side of the body. Interlacing the hands behind your head. And open the elbows out to the side. Inhale, lift up from your heart, from your chest, up towards the ceiling, gazing up, finding the upper back bend. Exhale, elbows into the center and curl. Draw the belly in towards your spine, feeling the rounding of the spine. Inhale, lift, elbow up, open the elbows, lifting the chest. Exhale, elbow in and curl, draw the belly in. If you find that you're wobbling, you're welcome to tuck the left toes under for stability. Inhale, lift, chest up and open the elbow. Exhale, rounding the back, draw the belly in. Inhale, come back up to neutral. Lean the hips forward and down. So sinking the hips forward and down. Inhale, lift your gaze up again towards the ceiling, finding that slide back bend. You might feel a little bit more stretch across the left, the front of your left hip. Inhale. Exhale, let's lower the hands down to the mat. Bring the leg, the front leg, to straighten. So hips gently pushing back as you straighten the right leg. Toes up towards the ceiling and you may start to pulse your ankles. And just notice as you flex and extend the ankles, any sensations around the back of your legs. And then stay with your toes up towards the ceiling. Inhale, take the right arm up to the ceiling. Finding your twist. Draw the belly in, turn the chest up a little bit more, reaching up through your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hands down. Tuck the back toe under, shift your weight forward, plant your hands down into the floor. And then stepping back into downward facing dog. Take time to paddle your feet. 
Lower one heel at a time. And then you're welcome to keep both knees slightly bent. Lift the tailbone up a little bit more and gently pushing the chest back towards your thighs. Finding that extension in your spine. Inhale. Exhale, let's lower the knees down to the floor. Changing sides, you're welcome to cushion the right knee. And then stepping forward with the left leg. So here again, if you find that you need a little bit more stability on your knee, you're welcome to tuck the toe under or flatten it. Inhale, arms up towards the ceiling. Anjaneyasana. Exhale, interlacing the hands behind your head. I'm going to do that sequence of rounding and uh, extending the spine. So inhale, open the elbows, lift the heart. Exhale, elbow in and curl, draw the belly in. Inhale to lift, elbow up, chest up, open the elbows. Exhale, Round and curl. Inhale to lift and open. Exhale. I'll do one more. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, round. Inhale, come back to center, leaning forward, sinking the hips forward and down. Inhale, lift the heart up towards the ceiling. Finding that stretch across the front of your right hip. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hands down to the mat. And then slowly straighten the front leg, lift the toe up towards the ceiling. And then pointing. And lift and point, flexing the ankle, extending the ankle. And then stay with your toes up towards the ceiling. Inhale, left arm up to the ceiling. Finding your twist, reach up tall, gently push the crown of the head forward and that left hip backwards, lengthen as you twist. Inhale, exhale, lower your hands down to the mat, bending the front knee, tuck the back toe under, plant the hands into the mat. Preparing for downward facing dog, lift and push back. Paddle the feet. And then stay with both legs straight as you aim for the heels towards the mat, but keeping the tailbone lifting up towards the ceiling. Take a nice long deep inhale. Exhale, welcome to side out through your mouth. Take another breath at your own pace. And then exhale, lower the knees down to the mat. Remove the foam and let's sit back up to Vajrasana. This is a very short yoga practice that you can do in the morning or at night when you come back from work to stretch out the body. I hope you enjoyed this little sequence. Namaste.